Today's like New Year's for new laws as government budgets start fresh on July 1st and a lot of new rules and fees take effect. So that means that Colorado's changing in a couple of ways. It becomes a more expensive state to live in. We'll discuss that in a moment. And also a more punishing place to have a drug addiction. Possession of one to four grams of fentanyl is now a felony. Whether or not someone knows their pills or powder contains that substance, it's become the leading cause of overdose deaths. Colorado State Patrol recently intercepted 114 pounds of fentanyl. Marshall Zellinger is along now, and Marshall, the amount seized by CSP, it was going to be a felony with or without this new law. Oh yeah, uh, possessing 114 pounds of fentanyl was already a serious crime and is not impacted by today's new law. What you see here, 48 bricks of pure fentanyl. This was seized by Colorado State Patrol during a traffic stop on I-70 near Georgetown on June 20th. The bus leading to this photo was first reported by the Denver Gazette today. CSP is not providing any other details about that traffic stop. I also got this other photo of a June 18th bus. The burrito wrap packages are really 14 pounds of fentanyl pills. These bus are separate from the new possession law that went into effect today. We covered the content of that in the committee hearings extensively during the legislative session. On the last day, lawmakers reversed a 2019 law and once again made possession of one to four grams of fentanyl a felony. Based on testimony during the committee hearings, the amount of pills 114 pounds of pure fentanyl could create, that could be around 500,000 pills. I spoke with a doctor who testified against the fentanyl bill about what this type of bust means for the people she treats who are addicted to fentanyl. They will still be able to find fentanyl tomorrow just like they could today. So I don't think that this is going to have much of an on the ground level impact on people who are actually using drugs. Our goal is to keep people alive and to reduce rates of drug use and associated harms. Then focusing on supply side interventions like getting drugs off the streets and stopping the influx of drugs into communities is actually not the solution. The solution is focusing on demand and trying to reduce the demand for drugs in the first place. Here are the key points from the bill that did take effect today. It felonizes, meaning a harsher punishment, for knowingly possessing one to four grams of a drug with fentanyl. It allows a drug user to go to court and get the felony back down to a misdemeanor if they can convince a jury they made a reasonable mistake and did not know that the drug contained fentanyl, if they go to court. It also makes it a serious felony for the drug dealer if the person who used the fentanyl lace drug dies, if they catch the drug dealer, Kyle. And as was admitted on our air on Next, the House Speaker, uh, Democrat Alec Garnett, admitted to Anush Roy, our colleague, that most of the people charged under this new law with a felony are never going to court because they're going to get squeezed by the system. So even if they, they don't believe that they knew that they had fentanyl, they're never going to really be in a position to prove that to a jury. They plead out. They don't get to that, that day in court where they could try to convince the jury to give them a lesser sentence. And maybe the plea ends up making it down to a misdemeanor. Who knows? But like they're never going to get to that second step, likely. All right. Thanks for taking us through what today means in terms of the drug laws.